Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. This is the final game of round five. Nanima currently leading the series 1-0 over his opponent who spawns here in the upper right corner of the map. He's a Barco, but he's the green Terran from Mouse Sports. It is Lucifron. His opponent up 1-0. Defending a pretty unorthodox strategy, I'd say. Very well executed <laughs> defense there by him. He's our blue Protoss player with a 2-0 win. He may be able to pull himself into second place in the group, which would guarantee him a spot in the winner's bracket tomorrow. Can he do it? It is the Foreign Hope Alliance Naniwa. Yeah, I feel a little upset uh, because, again, Lucifron is going to be putting on a little bit of the uh, the old pressure here, Penguin, as we see two SCVs yeah. screwing out really early. So I feel like he just, I was, like, despite probably wanting to win, he's probably just like, eh, I'm out. Yeah, I know. Uh, that's the one thing we, of course, were a little worried about coming into the series. Like, would Lucifron be in super tryhard mode, or is it, look, I'm, I'm out, I'm out, whatever, let's just get this done with. And... The thing is, it's not like these strategies he's picking are complete throws. Quite frankly, Firefox Marine, again, if Naniwa played in the slightest in the slightest bit of greed last game, Lucifer would have walked over him with five racks. Coming with the two racks, I'm not gonna try and build this up to be better than it is. It's a gateway expand. He'll have units available, but if if Lucifer can get a bunker down, I mean, and you pulls a couple ICDs with this, it can still work. The problem is, this is susceptible to the same thing it is in TVZ. Probes shut this down way better than zealots do. And mothership core overcharge. Well, uh, if you're he typically can get a, a mothership core with energy out. That's the clock, because, though. I mean. Yeah, yeah. It definitely puts a clock on it. Nani was checking around for a proxy. He's not checking the right place just yet. Is he gonna go over there? No, not by the looks of it. He's checking everywhere except the location of the raxes, which is worse than not scouting at all. Because if he gets into a false sense of security here, this could really be bad for him. Well, we'll see if Lucifer can make it happen. It's again, guys. It's a gamble. It's it, it can work, but it's one of the unlikely strategies, right? Yeah, I mean, it's not something we see all that often in this matchup because, I mean, the overcharge, among other things, just makes it not that great. And well. We'll see. There's an SCV pull coming on out. Six SCVs moving their way across the map. Only four well, or five left at actually, home. Actually, you know, Penguin, with, oh, with no. Nani was oh, skipping no. over the Zealot. Uh-oh. And he's, oh, he's this going is, straight to Twilight. This is really bad for Naniwa, guys. This could actually this work could for Lucifron. Yes. Okay, so this is this is gonna sound really silly, guys, but the stalker's not gonna have, he's not gonna be able to micro down the Marines to do that perfect like, oh, the Marine never touched me micro. All, all Lucifron has to do is establish a bunker. If he establishes a bunker within range, then he's good to win this. There's not a lot. He pain skipped train. over the zealots. Choo choo. The pain train moving on in here. The first SCV is going to be taken out. Stalker doing pretty well for itself so far. But the Marines are going after the only pylon powering this warp gate. Another one is being warped on uh, in. The probes is... have been pulled already. Good pro pull, but. SCVs are repairing uh, each other count. instead of buffering. If the that bunker, bunker, though, is not done. No, and the Marines are dwindling a little too fast. And like I said, guys, you can pull this off by using probes. If you can get the one Marine in there, he does get one Marine in the bunker. This actually makes this phenomenally better. However, yeah. Lucifron needs to drop a mule. He actually can't afford to repair right now, Penguin. He's got 11 yeah, well, minerals. He can repair for a little bit. The, he's getting the Marines in there. One more Marine got in there. There's two in there. Now the, the probes going down. The militia core comes out. That's definitely going to put a clock on this, as we said. Two more Marines coming in. We'll fill up that bunker. There's a ton of SCVs here, too. He has to drop well. a mule. He has to drop a mule. He can't produce anything right now. Okay, finally drops a mule. He's the mule right now, so there he will be able to repair. But this is... There, there's stalker. There's one stalker out. Okay, he's going for Another probes. one about to come out. Where's the Marines? Oh, there they are. They popped on out. Yeah, he's he was focusing down the probes. I mean, Lucifer's making the right choices here, right, guys? But it's... Yeah. It's a weird situation to be in to begin with. SCVs aren't attacking, of course, because he doesn't want to have them out of position or in the wrong spot. Needs them to repair this bunker. I have to say, I like the positioning on this stalker outside the natural that's going to deny any further Marines from making their way into the net, uh, into the main. One more stalker should pop out before the gateway goes uh, down. I don't think it's going to be really close. Oh, it barely, barely gets makes so. it out. But and no more production. There's only, there's only four energy left until the overcharge is done, and I think that's actually just going to spell the end of this, to be honest. I mean, I don't know. He's got so many HPs to repair. That bunker's not going down anytime soon. Yeah, but I mean, with the focus fire on the SCVs. Oh, actually, he's repairing the SCVs. He's just um, got auto repair on those, so they don't actually repair anything useful. <laughs> well, and he doesn't he, have the resources. He's keeping them alive longer. He can actually move in and try to repair the bunker here. 
but he's out of resources so immediately. Difficult, if not impossible, to outlast the overcharge. The Marines moving in towards the natural. Gonna be able to pick up the stalker at the front by the looks of it. Nice moves here by Lucifer. Oh, nice. But that's I mean, means there, there's. The problem is they could Nothing have repaired. Repair. They could have constantly yeah. repaired if he had resources, but Lucifron has just starved himself to death at this point. Pulls everything out of the bunker, knows his opponent doesn't oh, have any production, but now that gateway's finished up, he can start producing but, units once again. But the problem is, the overcharge he's is got done. no overcharge anymore. The Stalker oh God. has three health on it. Stalker goes down. Oh my God. The bunker's burning. What salvage it. Lucifron salvage the bunker. Happen? He oh my god, bunker, he's like gonna the use- last hurrah of the bunker! But I don't know, the probes are gonna be enough. He's not killing the Mothership War. This got really close for Lucifron, it did. Off of what is quite frankly a silly strategy to begin with. He made this way closer and much more exciting than it needed to be. <laughs> or should have been, I should say. Still trying to get the Mothership War, but even then he can't kill that Stalker with two Marines. Uh, that nah. should be game. Like, so close. Still mining of a mule, but like there's- there's so no close. way in hell that Lucifron wins this game anymore. No, no, no. He's close for a rings. second, as you said. GG is called. Naniwa takes a 2-0 win, guys, over Lucifron. Meaning that Lucifron kind of bombs out a Dreamhack Winter with a 0-8 map score. Um, Naniwa, however, getting a 3-1 match score overall will at least temporarily solidify himself in second place as he awaits the winner of Hyun versus TLO. If TLO defeats Hyun, he will finish in second over Naniwa. But if Yun wins, and uh, well, if Yun wins, he will be able to uh, Naniwa will be able to advance in second place. So Naniwa gotta be rooting for Hyun, who is up 1-0 at the moment.